Yo, what's going on guys? We are back at the tabletop and today we're talking about black rhino concealment. What's black rhino concealment, you say? Another Kydex manufacturer? How many Kydex manufacturers are there? How many do we need? How could they be any different? Well, I'll leave most of that up to you guys to decide, but if you are out of Illinois, um, or close enough, you know, Indiana, whatever, you want to make the drive, Tennessee maybe, whatever, because um, you need a special rig done, they will custom make you any Kydex rig for basically anything in any configuration that you want, and they'll even do it, I assume, at least I heard that they do it, you know, while you wait kind of thing, maybe by appointment, or maybe you could drop it off and then come pick it back up, you know, with the gun or whatever, but you can basically get it exactly how you want it. Uh, this one specifically is actually for a P80, and I have my shadow systems in there. It's for a P80 with a Streamlight TLR1 on it. That's what it's cut for. Uh, it's not specifically cut for the dot. I mean, it kind of is. It looks like it is. But with this, again, again, this is a, a shadow systems. It's not a P80, so it could be that. But when I'm in the holster, the... Uh, the dot is kind of rubbing on both sides on the Kydex. That's no big deal. It's going to shave itself down eventually. I could get in there and polish that out or get in there with a Dremel and remove some of the material. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's not going to hurt the site, and it won't be a problem, you know, in a few reps anyway. So, But it accommodates the threaded barrel. Nice touch. And then it completely engulfs uh, over the light and protects the light, which is cool. And uh, Multicam, they've got a wide variety of different camo patterns and choices. You've got your hardware here. Okay, everything is, is good quality too. Like it looks and feels solid. Uh, these are actual licensed patterns, you know, Multicam and stuff. Okay, so this is the real deal. And uh, it's going to match your kit as long as your kit is licensed. Um, it, it's just quality stuff. This is it's running off of Safari Land, a uh, little drop offset hanger, basically. And this will interface with a duty belt or a battle belt, or you could configure it in a bunch of different types of ways. You can get the ALS for this, and you know, the little quick detach thing. You can do a lot. Um, you know, you can get inside the waistband, outside the waistband, thigh rigs, chest rigs scabbards of different sorts you know whatever they'll make you whatever you want basically within reason they do a wide variety of different guns with different attachments and it's it's pretty cool that you could go there and again this is primarily just an illinois thing that i know of um as far as black rhino concealment goes but you can just go there and they'll make you whatever you got a weird gun you got a weird sight a weird light whatever it may be they'll mold it specifically around that exact setup and then it'll be perfect so it's pretty cool that that's an option. Um, it does also work with the Surefire X300. Okay, this is the primary light that I run on this gun because um, I think this gun deserves a nice light like this. So that's why I run it on there and it works really well together. But this is when I'm running this gun with this rig, I'm going to have to use this light. I mean, I could use this light and it's fine. Uh, it actually fits, it indexes the gun pretty much just as well as it does with the streamlight on there. But the Surefire being longer does stick out past uh, the holster a little bit. And uh, that could cause some issues. And uh, it's just not as consistent of a draw. It's tighter in some spots, looser in others. So uh, preferably for the best results, again, I'd have to run it with the... Uh, the streamlight on there but it works well like that there's nothing wrong with streamlight they make excellent lights and i bet my life to them but i like the design of the holster it's pretty much everything you need nothing you don't i like that you can get cool different camo patterns and i like that they can make it basically any way that you like uh because depending on what you know your scenario for this gun is so say this is like my home defense gun or it's my carry gun obviously i'm not i don't need a holster for home defense so to speak and i'm not going to carry it concealed in a rig like this so if I'm using this, though, as those defensive options, then it would behoove me probably to also use this in my in my go bag kit or my fighting kit or, you know, this is the shit hit the fan zombie apocalypse rig. You know, that's I'm set up for Glock. It's going to take Glock mags, Glock parts, and then a rig like this outside the waistband, full kit kind of style, and you got your weapons light, you got your your red dot, you've got your threaded barrel, you've got everything that you might need, and uh, the gun is right there. And the retention, obviously adjustable. You can tighten and loosen the screws, different pressure. They got like the little rubber grommets in between there. 
And it's just, it's from the reps that I have on it so far, which aren't super extensive. It's working out pretty well. Uh, it seems very sturdily made. Kydex is properly thick. Everything is bolted on properly. Uh, Safari Land, obviously you can't go wrong with that. That's kind of like the, uh, the standard, you know, the, uh, the bar that has been set. Not too many people have outdone it either. So can't be mad at it. Uh, I think this thing runs around a hundred bucks, 120 bucks to have it set up like this. I don't know the exact model number. And again, everything's so user configurable. I don't know if they have too many set model numbers, maybe like a base platform and you customize it, but get on their website. Um, I don't get none for it. They don't know I exist, but I think this is pretty cool. I've been hearing a lot of good things about them and now getting this in hand, be able to check it out, use it. I'm not mad at it. So that's the video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think or if you have any experience with Black Rhino Concealment, any other products, good or bad. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button, though, for real. That helps out the channel a ton. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure that notification bell is ran. And then, as always, per usual, make sure you check the first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you, 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 me, everybody, Fight for their God-given inalienable gun rights, okay? Constantly under attack, forever important. This is what keeps America, America. This is why we have other rights. This goes away, so does everything else. Do your part, people. It's the least you can do. And uh, that being said, if you want to help support this channel, just interact. Share the content. Um, check the links in the description box, whatever it is. We'll see you guys. I appreciate it. Peace.